we're all just trying to be happy. But you know, this is this is a, a video about adversity. This video is sponsored by Mystery Taco Box. This is the Pro Box. The Elite Box. Get your first box up to $10 off using the code PHANTOM. This video is all is for all the bank yankers. Sometimes if you can't get out into a boat, and just because you have a boat, you're not any better than the bank guys. Just because you have a kayak, you're not better than the boaters. And, Oh, this world is crazy right now. But we're all doing the same thing. We're all trying to fish. We're all trying to catch fish. We're all just trying to be happy. Happy. I came here because I found this Guggen frog in my box. And I was like, finally, uh, I get to do a blow up through moss video. Well, I get up here, there's no freaking moss. So now I'm gonna do a frog, not on moss video. And make sure you check out Tackle Junkie's video because he showed a couple modifications um, on his video. But let me tell you, I'm not doing one of them and I'm just gonna swing it like a man, set the hook. And not joke around. I'm not playing. And mostly because I don't have any pliers with me. That's why I had to burn the line. Let's go figure it out. What the heck is going on here? So I just walked up. Now when I was pulling up, I saw a heron. And I just walk up and see this bass. And there's like a trail. I don't know if it's alive. It is alive. And it's got a puncture wound right there. That is insane. That is crazy. I guess it's your lucky day if you're still alive, buddy. Yeah, he might be a goner. I can see his gills moving though. Being upside down like that, it's not going to help him. Honestly, this lake's... This lake is... There's so many fish in here. But you can't just let them, you can't just let them die if you can help them. What I'm gonna do is set them in these weeds right here. Hopefully I can get them to set upright. Uh oh, he just flared his gills. What will happen is, if they lay on their side or upside down, they will drown. I know you're saying they're in water. Yeah, they, they won't be able to get oxygen in their gills and they'll drown. That's why when they get come out of the deep and can't sit upright, that's why they die. He flared his gills twice. That's usually not a good sign. It's all we can do. If he dies, the turtles and birds will eat him. If, but he's probably a goner. So there's three ways I like to reel in a frog, try to walk the frog like this, twitching it. Another way I like to trigger bites, especially on matted vegetation, is I will just burn that frog over the top. And a lot of times, you know, they're not normally going to get a hold of it in that situation, but they're going to let you know where they're at. Either they're going to make some wake or they're going to 
bust at it. They're not going to get it in their mouth, so they're not going to know it wasn't real. So then usually, if you get a bust like that, then you can follow it up and go in slow motion. Just pop it. Barely twitch that thing. So how I said I don't have a knife down here or anything to cut line. I'll tell you what. One man's trash is another man's treasure, you know what I'm saying? All got some cutters. All these are some Berkeley split ring pliers. Now since I do think there's fish here, and I don't want to move yet to where I can get a frog bite. I'm gonna use this big bite. Bates creature that came out of the pro box. See if we can't induce a big old strike. Gotta figure them out. Now if it gets to the point where I can't catch anything on this big bait, I'm wanting the downside. That's 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 where you would go from here if you can't catch anything. And you just gotta find how they want. You gotta drag it real slow, barely move it, pop it. You know, move it fast. Do everything you can until you figure out what those fish are. Now, if you do find these fish are just not cooperating, not eating, um, you're going to want to downsize. Make sure you hit the best parts of the lake. Any points, pockets, you know, any irregularities, but... No, I'll use my new pliers. They need oiled up a little bit. Just so you know, if you, if these are yours and you know where I'm fishing and you need these back, let me know. So what, another thing in this pro box, so I got the elite box and the pro box, but another thing in the pro box is this plasma tail, four and a half inch in black, which is perfect. It's a darker day. Um, but then I also have these Lake Fork trophy lures. The Yodo worm. Where them hooks at? Where them hooks at? You know what I'm gonna do. I still have this chatterbait. Or this vibrating jig. This is one thing I haven't done yet is moving baits under the surface. Been moving the frog, but not this. And to yank a tank from the bank, we're going to have to get creative. So, what should I throw on here? Talk to me now. Look at this Death Wish hand poured swim bait. Lunkers need to beware. Not like Lunkers TV, but Lunkers, like big bass. I prefer to call them tanks. So should I put the Yoda worm on there, or this Z-Man Minnow Z Glow Chartreuse, because it is pretty cloudy and the bass are typically smaller in this pond. And I just did a video on the Yoda worm, so check that one out. So I'm going to try this Z-Man out of the Pro Box. Because I've never used it before. And maybe a little flashing color might help. Check that out. That looks pretty good, right? 
Let's give this thing a shot. We're vibrating. We're chattering. Oh yeah, make a little ripple effect. It's pretty sexy. Not as sexy as the Yoda worm, but it's sexy. Oh, there's one. Ho, ho, ho. Whoa, ho, ho. Hit my bell. Hit my notification on my angler bullseye. I'm going to have to add a photo. My phone is so jacked up. Boom. I'll use that photo. Species, largey, weight, about, I don't care, it's like nine ounces probably. There we go. Only took 13 hours to catch him. Adios. Now if you're casting in a shallower area and you don't want it to go as deep but you don't want to reel any faster, just lift your rod up, it'll keep it elevated in the water. If you want it to get down, put your rod down as low as you can. You don't have to change your reel speed to get it to go at a different depth. See how she swims. Oh, there's a fish. That's what I'm talking about. Are you dead? No, you're not. Awesome. Look at that. It's really light. You can tell how dirty this water always is. I mean, it's not a giant, but I'll take it today. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm going to make a couple casts so this battery dies. And there we go. Code Phantom.